my mission is a C-130 uh, command pilot, and we employ the uh, C-130 uh, air land and airdrop missions throughout the world in the state of Minnesota. My mission as a navigator is to make sure the aircraft is where it needs to be at the exact time to ensure that the airdrop goes off on time. My mission here at the 133rd is to provide outstanding customer service to our airmen and to keep them financially prepared to finish the mission here. The mission of the 133rd Airlift Wing is to provide tactical airlift to the United States Air Force and the Department of Defense anywhere throughout the world. And we do this with the C-130 aircraft, which are capable of operating into and out of uh, austere and, and very remote locations. And primarily we're transporting uh, troops, equipment, and medical patients into and out of these areas. We also provide an uh, immense amount of uh, additional support capability that either is directly related or can operate independently from this airlift mission. Also, our airmen, our airplanes, and our capabilities are available to the state and or community uh, should they need us in a time of uh, crisis. Our uh, mission is to operate aircraft systems in the air and on the ground for the air C-130. I'm a flight nurse and my mission is to convert a military aircraft into a flying medical unit to provide inpatient care while in flight. The mission of the 133rd Airlift Wing this year with respect to deployments included an aviation deployment where ops and maintenance folks deployed uh, and they transported personnel, uh, cargo, and patients uh, throughout the theater that they were deployed into. Also, we had several uh, support agencies deployed to include our aeromeds, security forces, our small air terminal, also uh, known uh, as the aerial port, and lastly, our weather flight personnel. My mission is to provide a safe operating environment and the resources to the air crews so they can successfully complete their missions. My mission as an aircraft maintenance officer is to manage our maintenance resources, people and equipment to safely and effectively fix and generate aircraft for the needs of the mission. Well, the mission of the 133rd Airlift Wing with respect to deployments for training is as it states for training, but that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different units. In, in the case of our folks going down to Yuma to do uh, airdrop training down there, our air crews get a unique opportunity to train uh, closer to home than Afghanistan, but in an environment much like Afghanistan or the Middle East, and they can get unique JPADS uh, training down there and, and be able to do it in a, in a much more uh, inviting environment, you might say. On the other hand, uh, you have the opportunity for our civil engineers when they went to Croatia. As part of the State Partnership for Peace program, this was prompted by our Adjutant General when he was over there, and our civil engineers got a unique opportunity to work in some schools over there and do some nation building work and, uh, and make some uh, diplomatic friends in a way, if you will, with the Croatians while they were there. And then a few other things that, that, that we were able to do were deployments to Germany with the comm flight uh, with the unique opportunities there and an active duty base as well as, as Pacific Angel where our air crew and maintenance folks got unique opportunities in a tropical environment. My mission as a crew chief is to inspect and maintain the aircraft to ensure that it, it uh, leaves, stays up in the air, and uh, it comes down safely. My mission is to provide computer systems and infrastructure support to a deployed location. The mission of uh, joint operations as it pertains uh, to the 133rd Airlift Wing focuses around uh, the ability to work with other agencies, either civilian or mil other military agencies, and we can uh, synergize our efforts and, and, and build uh, some relationships and uh, joint training uh, throughout these events. We can uh, certainly gain um, from their expertise as well as more importantly uh, establish some communication and, and relationship building uh, during these events. One of the uh, examples of, of joint operations uh, with some civilian agencies included our active shooter uh, event that we did this summer. It uh, involved several uh, local law enforcement agencies as well as our own security forces and, and all the members of the base uh, who happened to be out at the base on, on that particular day. It was a huge success where our airmen got uh, excellent training as well as we established uh, great relationships and improved our communication skills with all of these agencies. The 133rd's mission as it relates to the involvement in outreach efforts and opportunities is to strengthen the relationship and grow and broaden the relationship between the 133rd Airlift Wing and the community in which we serve. There's numerous opportunities out here at the 133rd 
for the men and women to get involved in here. For instance, serving in the capacity of a Starbase mentor to fourth and fifth grade STEM students at Pillsbury Elementary and to assist with rocket launching and to even deliver the four lenses out into the community to community members and other organizations. All of those things um, compiled together strengthen our relationship and all of those outreach efforts strengthen everything that we do here at the wing. My mission is pretty much to make sure that troops get downrange and in planes and process through as fast as, as humanly possible. I'm the maintenance first sergeant and my mission is the health and morale of the airmen. Well the mission of the 133rd Airlift Wing and our participation in public events, it, it can be multifold. but first of all it's an opportunity to get out into the public whether it's a sporting event or a state fair or something like that and show pride uh, in the uniform and, and it's a morale building opportunity for our members. They have the opportunity to get out in the public. It's hard to go in the public without, with a uniform on these days and not be thanked for your service. So it's an opportunity for our members to experience that, sometimes in front of a huge crowd and, and, it's, a, and it's a great experience for them and a lot of them. That's why we have so many volunteers uh, when these opportunities present themselves. Secondly, it's an opportunity to display to the public the, the military bearing that we have. For instance, some of these events involve flag ceremonies or something like that. And those are, those are uh, the possibility for our folks to, to display the military bearing and the proper wear of the uniform to our public and show that pride. The mission of Family Day and events like that is to try to bring our family members or those who are not in uniform to the base so they feel part of the base and that they feel part of the mission that we're trying to provide to the citizens of the nation and of the state. We're proud of all of our airmen here at the 133rd Airlift Wing, particularly Dave Hamler, one of our own from the medical group, was promoted to Brigadier General at the Minnesota History Center. In my position now, I, I, I would say always be prepared. My father used to say, never say should have, never say could have, never say, you know, you should have done this, or for that matter, you know, always be prepared. So education is key. So preparation meets opportunity. Some people call it luck. I call it being prepared. So that would be, and, and I, I, I revel to be um, a role model for anyone who, and I, I do that all the time in my medicine career and, and in my um, social life and everything. Why not military? My mission as a military husband is to help out as much around the house as I can uh, while, while trying to you know, make her happy and, and just uh, kind of help balance the workload while she's away. My mission as a military mom is to not only support my wing and being part of the 133rd Emergency Management Team, but also to find the balance between being a mother and being a spouse and just overall being a good person. Part of my mission is to help encourage our airmen to be more resilient, to be resilient in all facets of their lives. If they are resilient, they're able to help us complete our overall mission and also to help serve the community. Tech Sergeant Chris Claypool saved an individual who was having some serious heart issues. And Master Sergeant Bob Renning pulled the driver out of a burning vehicle and saved his life. My mission uh, as the commander of the 133rd Airlift Wing is to provide the training and resources to the 1,200 airmen that we have assigned here. Hopefully that will enable them to be able to do their jobs and attain the training and, and skills that they need to, uh, to perform those duties, especially when called for um, uh, by the nation, state, or community. I also try to uh, in, encourage uh, promotion and development of airmen and provide a, an environment, uh, one that uh, has a healthy culture and, and uh, promotes uh, high uh, unit morale. Ladies and gentlemen of the 133rd Airlift Wing, uh, thanks so much for everything that you've done this year. Today was just a small example of the excellence that you've portrayed over the last year. As we roll into 2015, we'll be focusing on a Vigilant Guard, a major exercise in the August timeframe, and we'll also continue to work on the implementation and institutionalization of our Commander's Inspection Program. Uh, please keep those areas uh, as a focus, as well as our airman development and resilience. Thanks so much for everything that you've done over the last year, and I hope you all have a great 2015.